the stage our first contestant in this Jewish contest. I know you're going to love her. She's a very funny lady. You may have seen her on The View on Saturday Night Live and The Sopranos. Give it up for the very lovely and the very funny Ellen Orchid. My name is Ellen Orchid. I'm a nice Jewish girl. In Yiddish, we say Shayna Maidala. You know this phrase? Well, you've heard of J Lo? I'm Shay May. <laughs> Today is a very special day for me. It is the anniversary of my divorce. Yay! It's working! Every year I celebrate the anniversary of my divorce, I watch my wedding video backwards. <laughs> I really recommend this. It's therapeutic. First you see the bouquet flying back into my hand. We take the rings off. We look at each other and say, do I? I don't care for the word divorce. I'd rather say certified pre-owned. Puts a nicer spin on it. But I believe in divorce. As they say in Star Wars, may divorce be with you. <laughs> Marriage was much harder than I expected. First of all, it's a legal contract for better or worse, richer or poorer, sickness and health. What other contract would you sign when you agree to contradictory terms? <laughs> it's crazy. I wanted better richer, and help. <laughs> I'm sure that's what I circled. <laughs> it starts with a courtship, and in our case, that ship was headed right to court. <laughs> but it's turned out fine. We have two beautiful kids to raise. Do you have any parents, parents in the audience? The rest of you, tell me. What do you do for aggravation? <laughs> Parents, give yourselves a round of applause. It is the hardest job in the world. And the hours are terrible. My sister says to me, Ellen, would you stop complaining? You blink, and they're in college. <laughs> I have two beautiful kids, they're both in high school. They get so much homework, it is ridiculous. And they carry their books to school in these luggage carriers on wheels. They look like little flight attendants. I drop them off. I don't know whether to say have fun at school or have a nice flight. They get so much homework, it is ridiculous. And next week we have the science fair. We're gonna do what wine helps mom pass out faster. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the research on this. Yeah. We got a B plus on our book report on Martin Luther King. Thank you very much. <laughs> My kids have to take Latin in their high school. You know what I think about Latin? <laughs> Gigantus wastus of Tinus. <laughs> Julius Caesar? <laughs> I went up to the school. I said, we're in Brooklyn. Give us something we can use. Russian. <laughs> we live in South Brooklyn, or uh, Sobro. <laughs> Our neighborhood is almost entirely Russian now. There's even a Russian mafia. Really? How does this work? Do they make you an R you can't pronounce? <laughs> But you know, it gets lonely being a single mom. I mean, I'm home at night. My daughter's on Facebook all the time. My son's on the Xbox all the time. And I'm on Xanax all the time. <laughs> you have to supervise them. I walk around going, I don't see you studying. My daughter goes, I don't see you cleaning. <laughs> I try dating. I really do. Um, 
Now they have this thing, friends with benefits. I hope it's dental. <laughs> Someone who understands commitment <laughs> and pain. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's not easy. I answered this guy's personal name. He calls me up. He goes, So, Ellen, what do you look like? Are you a 10? A 10? I said, Look, um, I'm a single mom. I'm exhausted. I could be a five twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. I met this guy for dinner, we had this very nice meal, and then he goes, Ellen, look, I'm sorry, you're really not my type, you're too nice. <laughs> so I shot him. <laughs> Lady. Well, we got great energy in the room. Let's keep it going. Come